How the fuck you can board and capture ships in X4 Foundations? There are two methods to accomplish this task based on size of individual ships. For small and medium ships, it's easy because they have few crew members. By damaging the hull, you will kill few of them, and after one or two die, the rest of crew will abandon the ship to save their lives. So be careful to don't destroy it. I suggest you to use low output weapons. Once ship abandoned, it's time to claim it. You can do this operation by yourself. To do so, get in space suit. Fly close to it and use scan mode. Now search for the data leak that emitting a huge radio noise. Usually is near the entrance with a red dot upside. Once found it, just get enough close to it in order to receive a decryption data stream message. Hold your focus on it until success message will appear. That's all for this method, now the ship is belong to you. In this case, if you won't keep it, you need to get on board and fly it by yourself. Otherwise, if you want to have immediately a captain, you need to have marines in your main ship. In fact, when ship abandoned, right click it and uh, use claim, this way will be launched a boarding pad with one marine that will claim it without you have to exit the ship. But this will destroy some module of target ship, like the shield and the weapon, decreasing its value. On the other hand, the crew member will auto repair the ship hull till 65%. If you do this for money, it's better claim it by yourself, repair it with your laser and sell it because the components that marines usually will destroy worth some extra credits. Also this way the ship is like new. You don't need even crew or fly to station in order to sell it. Check top right corner suggested video to know how to do it. Also, if you had a courier nearby, you can park it in and assign anyway a crew member without going to other stations. If you want to know more, check top right corner suggested video that explains how to make a huge fleet for free. Time to explain boarding and capture of big L and XL ships, also called capital ships. First, you need to know more info, in particular crew members of the enemy ship. To uncover this info, you need to get close to the target. Enable scan mode. Red click it and select scan. Once bet the minigame, the ship info will be discovered. Sometimes few info will rest hidden, like crew skills and loadout. The last one is useful to understand how much and which turrets we upon and the shield it have. In fact, I highly recommend to check top right corner suggested video to learn how to obtain full info from scanning. The most important info you need is Marines member counter, if they are more than double respect of which you have on board, it's hardly be possible to capture it. In case you have a fleet, you can send Marines from multiple ships that not far from your location. If you think to have enough crew to take a ship, it's time for boarding operation. To set up it, right click the target ship, then click board. Here you can see all your ship enough close to participate in boarding operation. In target info you can see how much turrets it have, hull integrity, crew total count and some extra info. In configuring you can choose which marines and how much of them send to respective fight. Plus, in stage 3 assault, you can see a comparison between your and target marine strength. Personally, I don't recommend to start boarding at all if your marine strength is lower than half of the enemy. 
The strength is based not only on numbers of marines, but also on its skills and experience. At this point, under the target, you can choose from where the marine will enter inside the ship. The boarding operation is divided in three stages. Stage 1, called Approach, is actually the launch of marines to the target ship. Here you can choose at which enemy strength your marines will move to the target. More strong approach you choose, higher is the risk to lose your crew. This risk based on targeting of turrets that can destroy the boarding pods. In fact, to decrease the strength, you need to destroy turrets upon the ship. This way marines can be destroyed during landing on the target. Once started, the messages will be show how much turrets you need to destroy before your marines will start the operation. If the landing for the boarding pods are successful, stage 2 will begin. It consists in making a hole in the ship hull in order to be able to enter the ship from the pods. To make a hole, it requires time, and if your crew will make a mistake, they will die or destroy the ship. Also in boarding plan, you can choose when your marines will start to cut the hull based on ship hull integrity. Meaning more weak approach you choose, lower you have to get target health by shooting it. Also, in meanwhile, if shields will start to regenerate, it probably will kill your crew. So, destroying shields is the minimum requirement to help your crew survive. Also, you can speed up the process by damaging the ship hull. I suggest to keep enemy hull integrity low, between 10 and 20%. Be careful to don't damage it too much, because if it below 10% there is a higher risk to destroy the ship with your own crew. Once stage 2 done, the crew starts the stage 3, is when your and target crew will fight each other. By continuing damaging the ship, you also will kill some enemy marines, meaning during stage 2 probably you already will wipe out a lot of them. Once enemy crew dead, the ship become your, and the survivors will start to repair it until hull and damaged parts are at 60%. Now you can promote one marine to captain and start using your new ship in your fleet or just sell it. If you want to know more info about weapons and ships, check top right corner suggested playlist. I have a little tip, don't do this in faction sector, because in this case you will lose reputation, and at some point you will see a whole sector security coming to kill you. This operation is highly delicate and needs your full attention, so don't do it in this type of sectors. A solution is to claim a sector, this way you can attack anyone without consequences. Check top right corner suggested video to learn how to claim a sector. Another tip is if you get close to the target ship, you will follow it at the same speed. But destroying engines also is a good solution to make your work much more easier. The last thing to know is that your crew won't execute orders until repair ultimate. That can take a lot of time, so if you need this ship immediately, drive it by your own to a shipyard or equipment dock, where you can buy the repairing in upgrade section. It will take few minutes and it will be repaired to 100%, it's better than be repaired in a few hours only to 60%. Every day, exactly at 7 am Greenwich time, will come out a new incredible game tutorial, precise and direct. This means that you just have to smash this subscribe button and kick the bell. This way YouTube will send you some X4 Foundation credits and the notification about the new video link. Also, if you're going right now to try the following tutorial instruction, leave a like.
Otherwise, don't worry, I don't judge you. Just tell me in the comments why you don't.